Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Systems of Warframe, a series in which you take a look at Warframe from another perspective rather than going meta right away. Today we will look at the amps, every single firing mode they have and also what they are best used for, individual enemies, groups or the terrorists. I think it is very important to point out that this video is an extreme update to the video I made about amps a couple of years ago. Many things have changed and, to be frank, I sound like an idiot in that one, but I digress. Let's first look at what you need to get the amps. Amps are a modular weapon, you can craft it to vendors, the Quill Onko at Cetus and Little Duck in the back room of Fortuna. To speak to any of the two, you first need to complete the War Within quest and the second Dream quest, plus rank up specific syndicates. By ranking up, you will unlock blueprints for amp parts which you need to craft. You will need one prism, one brace and also one scaffold to create one. If you go under amp assembly from Quilonko or Little Duck, you can experiment before you craft the amps. You will see the stats and also difference between just crafted ones and the gilded amps. You can check that in the bottom right corner. The difference between the two variants is huge and also it is quite easy to get a normal amp gilded. To do it you first need to level up your amp to level 30. And to do that you will need to play the operator with that amp. I myself would suggest Hydron on Sedna. Two games, two 10 waves, but no affinity boosters will usually get you to rank 30. Also, most of the amps you will build are good enough to destroy most of the enemies there to wave 10, but you will need to put some effort in for at least the movement. If you do not like Hydron, I recommend exterminate missions on Sedna or Saturn, you will be able to grind stuff out quite easily, but just one tip. If you see the objective for defense taking a lot of damage, just play with your Warframe. Don't put objective of amp grinding in front of the actual objective. That is just not fair to the other people of the squad. When you get the amp to level 30 and you're ready to guild it, come back to your vendor, Quilonko or Little Duck, select other services and guild the amp. And that's how you have a gilded amp. But yeah, here we come now to the amps. And before I show you all the firing modes of every individual amp part, I will quickly explain the XXX number system, which I truly hate. So the first X is the series of Amp Prism, the second one is the series of Scaffold and the third one is the Amp's Brace series. The table of Amp series is on the screen right now, so yeah, instead of the name you would call the Amp part, you just say the number on the spot of X. For example, Schwack Prism, Exart Scaffold and Certus Brace will make a 257 Amp. I truly do hate this system, it only confuses new players, but now let's finally go to the Amp parts. I tested all the amps from scratch first before gilded on normal enemies and then gilded on the first terror list. And on almost all of the amps I used the Certus Brace because it is one of the best braces you can get to use against the terror list. Truthfully though, every single brace is good as long as it boosts your amp power. Critical chance is something I love, but if you want to play with higher energy regeneration for example, use that, some amps really do need that. Now let's finally go over the prisms. Raplak prism is a long range semi-auto laser that is amazing against individual enemies, but terrible against groups. It is far better than the Mote amp, so I suggest to get it as soon as you can. Against the Terrorist, this amp is good enough I'd say. You will need a bit more than a minute to destroy its shields, but you will have to shoot it at weak spots, which is not that hard because of the pinpoint accuracy. Schwach prism is one of the best early prisms. Short but wide and very powerful Pulse Wave is amazing against groups of enemies, individual enemies and also the Terrorist. It staggers enemies on impact and destroys the Terrorist shields in about 45 seconds. It is even good enough to go for the Eidolon Cool, all around amazing prism to play with early on. Ground Move Prism shoots a 3 shot burst grenade which is actually quite solid. You need to lead your shots and the damage against normal enemies is not that good. Against the Terrorist though, this prism is quite amazing because of its energy consumption. It is quite low. I myself would stay with the Schwack prism though, but it really comes down to personal preference and also, you know, mastery ranking amps. Run Prism is an automatic prism good against individual enemies with a pinpoint accuracy. The only thing this prism lacks is the damage and energy, since the amount of damage put out per energy used is mediocre at best. 
I would not use it against Eidolons since it takes about 90 seconds to deplete the whole shield or groups because the fire rate is really not that good, I would try to find a replacement as soon as possible. Kantic Prism is an extremely powerful burst fire prism great against individual enemies but very low in damage output if you do not hit the weak spots of enemies. Which may be quite a huge downturn for some since other rams do their job fine with no aim whatsoever. It will do its job quite well though, 70 seconds to take down an Eidolon shield is not that bad. Lega Prism is a fast fire rate flamethrower that is truly amazing against groups. The fire rate and very very low energy consumption can make it insanely fun weapon to play with. But against the Terrorist shields, it is not that good because the damage per second is very very low. It took me 2 minutes to destroy the whole shield. Insanely long. And the last, Clamora Prism is my go-to prism for Eidolon Coals. Wide but very short range beam will destroy every enemy you come across because of its very fast fire rate. The huge downside of this prism is the low damage and energy hungriness, with a huge upside being the damage per second. It will take you about 30 seconds to destroy the Terrorist shields. That is it about the prisms, so now let's go to the scaffolds, the meta parts of the amp for Eidolon killing, the goddamn worst side of the community sometimes. Pencha scaffolds shoots a charged beam that is extremely good against tough individual enemies. The big downside of this are energy consumption and extremely low fire rate. I myself would not use it against the terrorist because you need to be accurate and out in the open, but Altogether, it is a good scaffold to use. It took me 70 seconds to destroy the shields. Sharkson Scaffold is the first scaffold that is considered the meta of Eidolon hunting. Short range invite shotgun beam that turns into a bomb at the end is amazing against groups. And also, obviously, the Terrorists. It took me about 40 seconds to destroy its shields, but to be truthful, it is not fun to use. Klebrook Scaffold is one of the worst things you can put on your amp in my opinion. It shoots a beam that will latch on the closest enemy to the center of the screen with no aiming. It does very low damage and amount of damage compared to other shooty parts, but it is usable when you try to use them against groups of enemies you can't aim at. Using this on a terror list is a bad idea because 190 seconds to destroy the shields is a huge no for most of the people. Pacht Scaffold shoots a bouncing charge that will bounce between enemies and kill them quite easily actually. It is amazing to use against the groups of enemies but not good against the Terrorist because the shots will usually only bounce once and then fly away. The shot speed is also quite slow. It took me about 100 seconds to destroy the shields. Exart Scaffold, one of the worst scaffolds in the game in my opinion. It shoots out a barrage of grenades until it runs out of ammo which is very quickly. This makes it output a huge amount of damage in a very short time which is amazing, but the bad part is, it is extremely volatile to use. The aiming and recoil will make you furious you are not directly in front of the target. I wouldn't use this against the Terrorist. It took me 100 seconds to get the shields down. This X scaffold is in my opinion the best scaffold against groups of enemies, it shoots out a bomb that on impact splits into tiny bombs and it has a decent blast radius and does amazing amounts of damage, with very low energy consumption. It sadly is not that good against the terrorist but if you want to use it, try to aim at its legs. It took me about 2 minutes to destroy the shields. And the last, proper scaffold shoots out a timed explosive that deals huge amounts of damage and uses half of your energy pool. The sad part about it is that it is very hard to use and it is mediocre against the Terrorist. I myself really hate this scaffold and would destroy it if I could. That is now it about the shooting parts of the amp, now let's quickly just go over the braces. I will not go into detail with these because... There truly is nothing to talk about here, they only increase stats of your amps and that is it. All of them are on the screens right now with the best ones in my opinion being the Loren Brace and the Certus Brace, but that is the amps I love to use really. If you have the nerves, try experimenting a bit and find out what suits you most. We have went over all of the amp parts and I would now like to address my blasphemy for calling the Sharkson and the Propa scaffolds 
mediocre at best. The amount of things you need to invest into before the proper scaffold is useful is kind of retarded. Duna Iruvis, White Strike, Amper Canes. I think the worst thing you can do to a starter is to force them to use something that is not even good with the things they have. Forced may be a bit of a harsh word, so maybe pissed at them for not having the meta. I hate using the meta amp parts just because if you do not use them, hardcore Eidolon grinders, the toxic ones, usually get mad. And I'm fueled with that madness, so yeah. I suggest you play what you think is the best and the most fun at your tier. I myself usually listen to music, playing Warframe and jamming to the tunes, so hardcore super efficient gameplay is not for me. I love to play games because they are fun, and I really don't want to make them a chore. I think most people would agree with me, but I will make a second episode to this video to show you all the amp buffs people use that are really really efficient. That's it, please like, comment, share or maybe even subscribe and also please post down in the comments your amp assembly. What do you like to play with? I am curious. But now I must say goodbye and also wish you a nice day. Or night if fighting terrorists. Bye guys!